The recent killing of a part-time security guard in Omaha as the owner of a security company calling for change. John Chapman reports as some people in the security business would like to see the state certify the people who are there to keep you safe when you're out on the town. Goongat was trying to keep the peace, working as a security guard for a Capitol District bar when he was shot and killed, trying to break up a fight outside of the establishment where he was working. His brother works as a guard at the same bar. He tells us they both had no training or anything to protect themselves or break up a fight. No, we don't have nothing at all. Just, yeah, nothing at all. Just go out there and just do our job. Just, that's it, nothing at all. I have my mace. This is considered to be a non-lethal. I have my baton. Kasim Shabazz is a trained security guard. He shows us the tools of the trade. Kasim is also armed with a gun. He tells us his organization also trains security guards. We actually have training classes for our security uh, team. Uh, where we work on the hand-to-hand, -hand, we work on the lethal and non-lethal uh, processes. Shabazz says his training and his gear are important. He believes with no training, Gout was put in a terrible situation. Unprepared, probably didn't have a whole lot of experience, and uh, wasn't brought into it understanding that what happened could possibly happen. According to a 2021 study published by the National Association of Security Companies, Nebraska is one of a number of states that has no state requirements for unarmed or armed security guards. Air Force veteran Gerard Christian owns the 300 Protective Group. His company provides trained security for venues around the metro. He says having the proper gear is important, but proper training is the key to keep everyone safe. He believes Nebraska lawmakers should make training a requirement for all security guards in the state. I do believe there needs to be something passed, basically connecting security officers with some type of formalized training, state, state provided, something that basically any company could provide. Christian says having the proper gear is important, but proper training of non-lethal tactics is just as or more critical. The most valuable thing that actually a security officer has is verbal judo the ability to de-escalate conflicts and things like that. Uh, if you go into a situation having to pull your farm, that's a bad day. You don't want that. You don't want the civil liability yourself. You don't want the liability for the actual organization or the venue that you're providing security for. Christian says proper training for security guards in the state just might prevent more memorials for security guards who were just doing their job. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Both Shabazz and Christian say lawmakers did security guards no favors by voting for constitutional carry law that allows people to carry a concealed weapon with training or a permit. So